Toyota vehicles equipped with hybrid Synergy Drive are powered by a combination of a gasoline engine and electric motors. Depending on the driving conditions, the car's wheels may be driven by either the gasoline engine or the electric motors individually, or by both at the same time. Energy to drive the electric motors comes from a dedicated hybrid battery pack located towards the rear of the vehicle. The battery is charged by a generator that is driven by the gas engine when it is running. A hybrid never needs to be plugged in as it has the ability to create its own power. When the car is started, the gas engine will start if it is not at normal operating temperature or if the hybrid battery needs charging. A ready light in the instrument cluster will advise the driver when the vehicle is ready to drive, whether the gas engine is running or not. The gas engine may not need to start if it is already at or near operating temperature and the hybrid battery is sufficiently charged. Just shift the transmission lever to D and press the accelerator pedal as you would with a conventional vehicle. In most low speed conditions, the vehicle will move using only electric power. Once the vehicle is moving, the gasoline engine will start automatically if it is needed and will take over from the electric motors to drive the wheels in some conditions. Under acceleration, the electric motors will also engage to supplement the power provided by the gasoline engine, helping to reduce fuel consumption and emissions. In most conditions, the gas engine will shut off automatically when the vehicle comes to a stop. It may also shut off when driving at slow speeds or when driving downhill. It will start up and shut off automatically as needed. The engine may not shut off, however, if it is in its warm-up phase, if the hybrid battery is too hot or cold or needs charging, or if the climate control system is under high load, therefore requiring more power. When the accelerator pedal is released or the brakes are applied, the electric motors act as a generator to help charge the hybrid battery and assist in slowing down the vehicle. This is called regenerative braking. Shifting the transmission lever from D to B or S, depending on your model, while descending a steep hill, will help control your speed by providing engine braking, similar to downshifting the transmission in a conventionally powered car. When running the vehicle in a stationary position for extended periods of time, place the vehicle in P, park, rather than N, neutral. The battery will continue to be charged as needed in the P position, but not in the N position until the vehicle is shut off. There are also very useful displays on your hybrid vehicle that, depending on the model, visually help you monitor things such as energy consumption and hybrid battery power. The hybrid system indicator displays the instantaneous power output and charging levels, while the battery level indicator shows the state of charge of the hybrid battery, similar to a fuel gauge. The energy monitor can illustrate the directions of power flow to and from the gas engine, electric motors, hybrid battery, and drive wheels in real time. In most respects, driving a Toyota hybrid is little different from driving a conventional gasoline-only powered Toyota. One difference is that when the gasoline engine is not running and the vehicle is moving at speeds up to about 25 km per hour, a hybrid vehicle will generate a sound to warn people nearby of its approach due to the quiet operation of the electric motor. The sound intensity varies with vehicle speed. This sound is particularly helpful for those people who need to rely more heavily on audible rather than visual cues to determine if it is safe to cross the street, for example. Another difference is that there is an air intake vent in one of three locations depending on the model. On the side of the rear seat, above the rear seat on the parcel shelf or underneath the second row of seats to provide cooling air to the hybrid battery pack. It is extremely important that the vent remain unobstructed to prevent the hybrid battery from overheating, which could lead to reduced power output and a shortened lifespan for the hybrid battery. The features and functions described in this video might not be applicable to your Toyota model. See your owner's manual for details. Thanks for watching this Know Your Toyota video.